A technique that uses implicit differentiation is called logarithmic differentiation. And we may use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of more complex functions. So look at the following strange member in our universe of functions, yx equals x to the power x, and now we will assume that x is larger than zero. The question is, can we find, if it exists, the derivative of this function? Well, there are several things that can go wrong here, so if we regard y as a normal power function, so x to the power x, if we take a derivative as a power function, so that the exponent is decreased by 1 and we move the exponent in front of the function, then we just get x to the power x like so. Yeah, but this is a wrong idea. And the reason why this is wrong is that we may take a derivative of a power function for fixed power n. But now the power is x, which is variable. Yeah, so x to the power n, if we take a derivative, equals n times x to the power n minus 1. But n is supposed to be fixed. Another wrong idea is to use the a to the power x formulation so that the a equals x so that we get the ln of x times x to the power x. But this goes astray in the same fashion uh, if we consider x to the power x as a function a to the power x this assumes that a is a fixed number larger than zero. But now a equals x and it's a variable. Well, you can solve this question correctly if we first take the natural logarithm on the left and the right hand side. By doing so, we see that the exponent x goes down so that the log of y equals x times the ln of x and if we assume that y is differentiable so that y prime exists then we may be, uh, take a derivative on the left and the right hand side yeah so on the left hand side d dx ln y is taking derivative of a differentiable function on the right hand side we get a product of differentiable functions. And on the left hand side we get using the chain rule and the result that the derivative of the log is 1 over x, that we get y prime divided by y equals, and now we apply the product rule on the right hand side, 1 times ln of x plus x times 1 over x, which is the derivative of ln x. So we get 1 plus ln x. Now, multiply on the left and the right hand side by y, we get y prime equals y times 1 plus ln x. And we know y, because y equals x to the power x, so we get x to the power x times 1 plus the ln of x.